So, this is the second video, and as you probably saw, we're making the winch and release mechanism, which will allow the robot to pull the grappling hook tight and then release at the right time in a swing. It'll also mean that the robot will be able to climb up its own web, which wasn't something I was planning on when I first started, but it'll enable cool stuff like scaling vertical walls and things like that. One thing I realized about the last video was I didn't show enough of the trial and error process that got me to the final design, so I'm gonna give it a go now. As always, I started in CAD, where I made my initial model, and because I'm measuring the components I want to fit into it, and my measurement it's never going to be great and I'm not very good at any of this. My first attempt isn't going to be the perfect design but it does serve as good reference once I've got it printed out on what I need to improve. So that's what I did. I printed it. Now once I had it printed and cleaned up I could put in the servos, see how they fitted and see how it was going to work. Now the main issue I had with the initial design was that some of the servos didn't quite fit and the ones that did didn't really fit right. So it was back to CAB where I made some improvements, changed some measurements and then I printed it again. Now again, I put everything back in, and all in all, it was pretty much there, apart from some of the clips keeping the servers in place being way too thin. So all I needed to do was go back in the CAD, beef them up a bit, and print for hopefully one last time. And there you have it, that's how I got to the final version. Now, let me know if seeing this process was interesting, boring, or whatever, but now I could go through the final assembly. Now, in order for the rig to rotate freely, I quickly put together a stand, and then after that, I connected up the circuit, which is pretty much the same as last time, just with a few more buttons to control the extra servos. So before testing, I'll just give you a quick overview of how the whole thing works. So firstly, same as before, this servo controls the direction in which the web is fired, and then the servo on top actually fires the grappling hook. Now this servo here in the back drives the winch and connects to it via gears. And then finally, this one here, about which the winch spins, can turn outwards, letting the winch slide off and therefore releasing the web. So there you have it. I'm sure it's probably not the best way of doing it, but I didn't really know how else to. But anyway, on to testing. Right, so I've got it set up just to fire over the swinging rig so that I can see how well the winch works, pulling up the grappling hook and pulling it tight, from which if it was a self-contained unit and not hooked up to all these wires, it would be able to swing from. So let's see how it goes. I'd say that worked, I mean you can definitely see that it's tight, so let's see how it does firing up and climbing up its own web. Right, well that worked, it can clearly climb up its own web. Um, I guess we can try the release mechanism now. Um, I mean, the blanket's there, so it should be fine. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing. I'll try and get the next video out in the next week, but it might be a bit longer than that because I've got some parts coming for it and I'm not quite sure when they're gonna arrive. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.